I miss you. I haven't been around in so long. I know. Thank you to the girls that wished me happy birthday. And who remember, obviously, I'm a fucking Taurus. Remember that. Um, I thank you for that. I, look at my uncle. Walking down the street looking so nasty. He know I'm talking about him too. <laughs> okay. Let's touch on the message first because I've been MIA and I have a lot of you girls like make a video like what you doing you tripping like ah. but listen in your relationship right you have to stand for something and Taurus Barbie is so human I'm so on the same level as all of you I'm so in tune with you when I speak with you that it's crazy right and this message is deep from the heart and it's from what I go through too right so no matter how bad it hurts no matter how bad you want that man okay the minute he shows you disrespect this is from the beginning the minute he shows you this is who i am i abuse women i talk crazy i don't come home at night i do this i do that you show him who you are and it may hurt to show him who you are but then it's gonna feel good too because some men like to bring out the bitch word some men like to bring out the little tricks in a bag some men are very very jealous hearted of their own woman you may think that you're wondering why he might not like you and what's going on and what am I doing wrong he may actually be reminded of the fact that you're a boss chick and he can't even take care of you you may remind him of things that he was supposed to have his shit together a long time ago. You also may remind him or let him know or flaunt it in his face like, you know what? I've seen the rest. I've seen that. But this is what I have to bring and this is what I have to offer. And it's a lot of men that resent their woman. I have a homegirl right now and this story is based on my homegirl. I have a homegirl right now who... She has her own house. She had a baby by this man. Do you know that when he comes home, he doesn't talk to her? They don't have any communication. She cooks him dinner. She gives him sex. They have a great fake life, but they don't talk. He stays upstairs. Now, he's not working and he's not paying rent, but they don't talk. He's mad because she gets up and goes to work every day. And she gets to throw in his face that he's not doing anything. Now, it's a lot of men that work very, very hard. And this is for the men who watch this channel. Who work very, very hard to take care of their woman. And then the woman doesn't appreciate it. But let me get back. The first time a man or a woman disrespects you and shows you who they really are, you have to show them who you are because... Once you show weakness, and I'm not saying be ratchet. I never say that. Like, I know I have a strong personality, but I may get that way. I might snap in 3D. But this message is saying, as soon as he tests you, as soon as he doesn't answer, as soon as he ignores your call, as soon as he disappears, and we're talking about Taurus men right now, right? As soon as he disappears, let him know that that's not you. The more you know, know what you want and the more you love you, the more he will love you. I still get a lot of emails. And I'm sorry, you guys. I've been busy as heck. Like, it's been, like, crazy. And not even, like, mad busy, but just, like, figuring out. Like, I've been doing music and I've been doing this and I've been doing that. But sometimes I'll think, like, okay, wait, something's off and I can't figure it out and then I'm like ah, 
my girls. I miss my girls. I miss my Taurus Barbie girls because I really do. But this message is for somebody. You can be in a relationship for three or four months and you can be nice. You guys are going out. You guys are dressing well and, and, and just living it up. But that side is going to come out of him that you did not know. And if you're not prepared for it, it's going to shock you. You're going to be like, yes, my nail popped off. I can't even, you know what? My nails pop up. Like things are, I have to talk to you. I have to keep doing my videos or stuff won't go right. Now this whole hand right here, everything's good. But this one, not good. But as soon as you understand that either one of you, it seems like it's a balance. It seems like one of you are going to be the like top dog in the relationship. It always seems like one person loves the other more than the other. Either the man loves the woman more or the woman loves the man more, right? Listen to the message that I'm saying. One day, either he or she is going to try to come at you, take advantage, and feel like they have the upper hand. And that's when you listen to everything they're saying and you giving them an option like you know what if you ever do that again or if you ever say that again fuck you fuck what you stand for and you're done they're gonna call you they're gonna blow your phone up they're going to text you they're going to email you like mad and then you're probably gonna get back with them that's what 9.9 percent of the girls do they're gonna they, you we accept men back and men you accept the women back like it's crazy so anyway it seems like i'm blabbing on i needed to talk to you guys i'm just like talking random shit but you guys i've been doing like music and i have like five videos that i've already done shout out to the girls from india who've been like texting me and like gorgeous girls in india we've been facetiming having fun and this comes from one of their stories. Their dudes, once you let a dude get away with so much, he doesn't care about you anymore. Once you let a woman get away with so much, she doesn't care anymore. It's easy. Once you let somebody overstep their boundaries and dog you out, it's no coming back from that. You have to stand up for yourself. Like, once you let somebody abuse you, use you, and then... After they do that, they know that you're still going to be around. They're like, oh, I got I got it, man. It's going down. I'm the shit. And you're not. You will win if you love you. And when I say love you, that means not putting up with their shit. Ignoring them. But you know what? It hurts really bad to ignore somebody. It really does. Like It's like, dang, it's kind of hurting you more. You're looking at your phone. But my main thing always has been to ignore the shit out of somebody. So today I was thinking about, you know how men, um, they'll say, I married her so she can be an honest woman. So, fuck you. So, I, the only way I'm honest is if you marry me and you sleep with me all the time. Fuck you. No, I'm honest anyway. So, to have you kick it with me means that I'm turning into an honest woman. Whatever. Whatever. Ladies, do what you do. Stop sweating these men. Stop having these men think that they're bigger than what they are because most of them are not stronger than you. You're stronger than them. Most of them don't have a clue of what you really have to offer. But then you let them break your self-esteem down. Don't do it. So this was just a vid. I just wanted to talk and like, I don't know, like, because I miss you guys. That's it. Bye. Don't email me talking about how you're annoyed and you didn't like this video either. Bye.